God is fighting for you. And if God be for you, who can be against you? You see, Daniel was a man who loved God. He honored God and he made it his point of duty every day to spend quality time with God. As a result of that, he formed some enemies along the way. But Daniel did not allow himself to be thwarted by the naysayers. Daniel continued to serve God wholeheartedly. And as a result of that, he was tossed into a lion's den. I want somebody to know right now that not because you are standing for God means that everything is going to go well. No, because you stand for God sometimes the heat is going to turn up against you people out of the blue are going to begin to toss accusations and hurl insults at you but I want you to understand that when you are resolved in your relationship and your devotion to God he's going to see you through Daniel's enemies had him tossed into a lion's den the next morning the Bible says the king went out to check upon Daniel personally. The king's response was, Daniel, has your God whom you serve wholeheartedly been able to rescue you from the lions? Daniel's response was, O oh king, my God sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lion. The Bible tells us that Daniel was not harmed and I want somebody to know right now that standing for God does not mean opposition will not come, but I want you to know that when opposition comes he's going to see you through the scripture says no weapon formed against us shall prosper it didn't say weapons won't be formed it said they will not prosper so I want to encourage someone going through a fiery ordeal right now keep your eyes fixed on the Lord you know when you cannot look left or look right look to the hills from whence cometh your help because your help comes from the Lord and and the Lord will see you through.